Good morning guys, so I've been up for about an hour now and I've had a shower and I am in dire need of a coffee. Let's go. I've just been making my coffee and it started to snow. Look, oh, look at all the little flakes. Oh my God, it's settling as well, wow. I use a straw to drink my coffee so it doesn't stain my teeth, by the way. So guys, as you can see by the title, I am filming a realistic what I eat in a day today. So as you've seen, I start my day with a coffee. I do eat a proper breakfast, but I have my coffee first, do my makeup, do my skincare routine, and then I go around to making breakfast. So I am gonna do my makeup now, and I'll show you guys some of the products that I use for my skincare routine, which has also been requested by a few of you guys. So I've finished my makeup, I've finished getting ready. My hair's still a bit damp, but I don't use any heat on my hair, so I just let it air dry. It should be dry within the next hour. But yeah, time to make breakfast. I don't really have exciting breakfasts. I usually just have toast, so that's what I'm gonna have today. But I'll show you guys anyway. I still need to get dressed. I'm currently in my oody, hoodie, oody, oversized jumper thing. It's very comfy. Welcome to my kitchen. I like to use um, dairy free butter. So yeah, I just have um, some toast and yogurt for breakfast. This is how I drink uh, enough water every day, is I carry this around me. I'm like a cereal drinker, not like alcohol, <laughs> but I always have to be drinking something. I'm just gonna eat my breakfast and I'll probably end up going for a run at some point today and maybe do a workout. So I'll keep you updated along the way. So it's been a few hours since I last updated you guys. And I was gonna go for a run today, but I looked at the temperature outside and it was one degree. So I thought I'll pass on that one. <laughs> I am going to do a workout at some point. So I'm now going to have my uh, pre-workout snack and a uh, shake. I'll show you guys what I have. So I'm now dressed and ready to do my workout. I decided to go for the blue Gymshark uh, set today. So it's like a little sort of moment, but I think this is probably one of my favorite uh, short sets. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna do a lower body hit workout only because I'm still a little bit sore from my leg workout the other day and I don't wanna do anything too stressful on my muscles so this is like a good way to sort of work the muscles but without using any weights and just doing it body weight i'll insert some clips of each exercise that i do 
and I think I'll be uploading this workout tomorrow on my Instagram anyway so if you want to head over to my Instagram and check that out as well you're more than welcome to So guys, I've just finished my workout and my legs hurt so bad. <laughs> my legs are gonna be aching tomorrow. I can already feel it. So now that I've finished my workout, I am going to have my post-workout meal now. So I'll show you guys what I have. These are the best sweet potato fries that you can buy and cook in the oven. By far, I love them so much. And then with the sweet potato fries, I'll be having some corn mints, which is so high in protein. Look at the size of that chip. That's huge. Look, it's longer than my hand. God. So guys, while I eat my post-workout meal, I'm going to be watching Riverdale on the telly. I've only just started watching it, but I need some good series recommendations. Um, I love things like The Vampire Diaries, so if you have any recommendations at all, be sure to leave it in the comments for me. Much appreciated. It's been about an hour since I have my post-workout meal, but I think I'm going to leave it another hour or so until I have my dinner which for my dinner, I think I'm going to have one of the Beyond Burgers as I'm vegetarian and some vegetables. But yeah, I still need to have another protein shakes. Every day I have about four scoops of protein because as a vegetarian, it is hard to find um, sources of protein, especially because you can't have chicken or beef. But I am happy with the decision I've made to go vegetarian. I've had a few messages from you guys asking why I became vegetarian and genuinely it's because of David Attenborough. So David Attenborough put out a documentary on Netflix and the way his sad little face was so upset with everything happening in the world, I thought it's about time that I actually started doing something. Obviously I do recycling and all that but I thought I needed to take the extra step and hopefully one day I want to be vegan. After watching the documentary, I actually did some research into how becoming vegetarian can help the environment. And I found some interesting facts that I thought I would share with you guys. With livestock, such as raising cows, pigs and chickens, it actually generates the same amount as greenhouse gas emissions as all cars, trucks and any automobile combined. Like, that's, that's crazy. Also, it takes 2,500 gallons of water to produce a pound of meat, where it takes 25 gallons of water to produce a pound of wheat. So, and no hate to people who aren't vegetarian or vegan, I get it, it is really hard, but I am glad that I've made the change. Even just one person makes a big difference, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go make another protein shake. So this is the protein powder that I use. It's the Fit Whey Protein from Women's Best. And it's in the flavor salted toffee pretzel. 
So they actually have a deal going on at the moment, uh, two for one until Valentine's Day. So you can pick up all your favorite bits. You can get two for one. Obviously the cheapest item is free. And another thing I wanna share with you guys is the BCAA's Aminos. And these are my favorite. This is a new tub because I went through the last one. And this is what I take. Um, I drink it before or during a workout. And if I'm going for a run as well. So I've decided that I'm going to have a Beyond Burger for dinner. Really good. I love these. These are my favourite vegan burgers. And I'm going to have it with a side of these mixed frozen veg. <laughs> finished cooking my dinner I'm gonna sit down and eat it in the exact same place I was earlier for my post workout meal and I'm gonna carry on watching Riverdale so as you saw in the previous clip I actually fry my veg with the burger so I put the burger in first and then I cook the frozen veg in the microwave so I fill it up with a little bit of water put it in the microwave for three minutes and then when it's done I drain the water rinse it and then I actually put the veg in with the burger to fry because I actually quite like it, my veg quite crispy. I'm actually really, really fussy when it comes to veg. And I think before last year, I would never eat veg. And this is the only way that I can sort of enjoy it. Otherwise I just hate veg and I know it's good for me and I need to get it in, so yeah. Also, if you can't tell, I am actually very, very tired. I didn't get much sleep last night. Um, it was just one of those nights where you just can't sleep. So yeah, just a bit tired. Well, this is where I'm going to end the video, but I really hope you enjoyed this realistic what I eat in the day. This video was so highly requested that I just had to get it done. And I've actually really enjoyed filming it. So I hope you really enjoyed watching it. I really wish I could have got up to more stuff today, but unfortunately in this lockdown, there's not much we can do, but I still had a good day and I hope you have too. Here on the screen, I have put up my carbs, protein, fat, and calorie intake for the day. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It helps me out loads and I really appreciate all the support. If there's any video you would like to see, just let me know and suggest it in the comments. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.